Welcome back to These Things Are Written on this Friday, the last day, as we wrap up 2 Thessalonians. Next week, starting on Monday, we will be starting a new section. It is on the first 12 books of Isaiah. That section of Isaiah is often called the book of Emmanuel because of the focus on the Emmanuel prophecies and the centrality of that section to those chapters. So I invite you to join me, continue to join me next week as we focus on uh, the beginning with Isaiah chapter 1, as we move through the month of December, all the way through looking at those first 12 chapters of Isaiah. Let's wrap up 2 Thessalonians now, beginning with verse 6 of chapter 3. Now we command you, brothers, in the name of our Lord Jesus, that you keep away from any brother who is walking in idleness and not in accord with the tradition that you receive from us. For you yourselves know how you ought to imitate us, because we were not idle when we were with you, nor did we eat anyone's bread without paying for it. But with toil and labor, we worked night and day that we might not be a burden to any of you. It was not because we do not have that right, but to give you in ourselves an example to imitate. For even when we were with you, we would give you this command. If anyone is not willing to work, let him not eat. For we hear that some among you walk in idleness, not busy at work, but busy bodies. Now such persons we command and encourage in the Lord Jesus Christ to do their work quietly and to own their own living. As for you, brothers, do not grow weary in doing good. If anyone does not obey what we say in this letter, take note of that person and have nothing to do with them, that he may be ashamed. But do not regard him as an enemy, but warn him as a brother. Now may the Lord of peace himself give you peace at all times and in every way. The Lord be with you all. I, Paul, write this greeting with my own hand. This is a sign of genuineness in every letter of mine. It is the way I write. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you all. This is the word of the Lord. In his final commands, there are really um, three things that he, he encourages. First of all, to avoid idleness. He goes, expands quite a bit on this, doesn't he? He says, don't, we don't want anyone to be idle. We want everyone who is to be willing to work. Anyone who is able should be at work because being idle can lead to someone being a busybody. In other words, not having enough to do, so they busy themselves in other person's life, lives, maybe, maybe gossiping, maybe meddling, maybe causing troubles for others. So he says, be busy at work, not as a busybody. Second of all, says, don't grow weary of doing good. Uh, that's an important thing to note because sometimes in doing good, sometimes it's not always easy being a Christian, is it? Because those things that we do are often misunderstood or turned against us. People don't listen to what we say or appreciate what we do. But Paul reminds us, do not grow weary of doing good. And then the final one, warn those who are not obeying this letter, not as enemies, but as brothers. Remember, what happened was that another letter had gone out that they said was from Paul, but it wasn't. So you can tell that Paul makes his mark. The scribe wrote the letter, but Paul wrote that last paragraph, probably connecting to his words to avoid that false letter, to be sure of what the true letter was. So he signs his handwriting, his name to that letter, and gives them that blessing that he gives so well. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you all. 
And that is my final prayer for you. As we wrap up these two letters on, on Thessalonians, that, that God's peace would be on you, that you would remember the hope and the promise that we have in the resurrection because of our faith in Jesus and what God has promised to do for us because of what he first did for us. May God bless you and the grace of our Lord Jesus be with you always. Amen.